Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have some really exciting news. As you guys may have guessed from the from the title of this video, we are building a house. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so freaking excited. I can't even believe, I can't even begin to explain the emotions, the feeling, like um, how I feel about it and how being involved in this process uh, for so long. We actually started this whole thing about a year ago when we bought this piece of this property. We signed on that, on that property October 17, 2018. We submitted our house plans and everything in on uh, May 16, 2019, and we finally got our permit on September 11th, 2019. It took them almost four months to issue them. We wanted to utilize summer uh, special living in the Pacific Northwest. We wanted to use the dry month to actually kind of get the framing going, and that's not gonna happen. So now back to our house. So I have the uh, the specs written down. So uh, the house is about it's four thousand eight hundred thirty seven square feet big, and there is an additional eight hundred forty two square foot garage and a two hundred forty seven square foot front porch. Uh, in the four thousand eight hundred thirty seven square foot. There is an ADU, an accessory, an accessory dwelling unit, which is like an attached apartment on top of the garage. Um, and the square footage for that is 1,017 square foot. And it has one bedroom. It's a one bedroom apartment that we, we are planning to rent um, to supplement with the mortgage payment. And... Uh, so let's see here. Oh, and the 842 square foot garage is actually three car garage. According to the regulation over here, if you're gonna have an attached unit, you must provide a parking space. It could be a driving or a garage um, spot. So they will have a garage. So, and the main house, the main house is a little under, 3,820, no, it's 3,820 square foot house. It has five bedrooms, one office, and four bathrooms. Now, the first floor has the master bedroom or the master suite, the master suite, the office, and the guest room and guest bathroom, uh, the kitchen, the dining room, the living area, and the mud room slash laundry room. Uh, that's on the first floor. And then the second floor has three bedrooms and a loft. Uh, we were deciding whether we should do like a walkway or just have a loft on top of the entrance to the house. So entrance of the house, but we decided to just have a loft where the kids can stay. It will be their area and they can just go crazy and get that part of the house messy. Um, <laughs> So the second floor will mainly be like a kids headquarters it will be have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The boys will have, will be a Jack and Jill or a Jack and John. <laughs> and then the girl will have her own bedroom slash bathroom. I'm sorry if I keep sniffing. I think I'm coming down with something. Uh, I woke up really cold this morning. And I've been sneezing the past couple of days, so it's too early in the season to be full. And I really hope it's not full. And I really hope I don't get too sick just because we are about to start building a house. So I need to be on top of my game. Let's talk about the process. The process, like we said, like I said, started about a year ago when we closed on the house. It, the current house is a two bedroom non-insulated home so we're probably gonna dim we, why do i keep saying probably we are going to demo the house down to the subfloor we're keeping the footprints the reason why our house ended up being so big is because the current footprints is the house is wide and uh it's not as deep i think it's like 40 feet by 20 feet so it will end up being 60 feet wide 
to 40 and then push the forward up a little bit uh, I think well you see when we start and um, so yeah so we bought the house about a year ago we did a survey first thing you need to do is to do a survey we did a survey we hire um, we interview for architects we ended up hiring one by early early November of last year and we gave him pretty much everything kind of ideas I was on Pinterest and Instagram a lot so I printed four plans that I was looking that I liked that we liked and we kind of gave him like a, the rundown of things that we need things that I must and he came up with the first sketch we kind of took us some time to kind of revise because he sent us the first draft was around Christmas area Christmas area <laughs> it was around Christmas time and we had a lot going on so we really didn't sit down to look at his first draft uh, we finally settled on one fall plan on this final fall plan actually in February uh, so from mid-November until early February so that's what three months it took us three months to finally get the house plans together and being a state of Washington you need to have I don't know if it's a, if it's a state regulation or if it's the county if it's a city but we need to have a structural engineer involved uh, especially that we were keeping the foundation of the current house so we had to hire uh, um, a structural engineer we went with his with the uh, the firm that he works with uh, they did a pretty good job I think uh, I'm not a trained engineer so I won't say um, but the fees were pretty reasonable we also had to hire a couple of additional engineers um, we had to hire a civil engineer we had to hire uh, a geotechnical engineer to get the geotechnical engineer report done for us that the report that report the geotech engineer does we needed that to give it to the civil engineer to do what they call the land disturbing activity so that's a bit of a um, backstory on our house thank you guys for watching I will also updates on the house so what we're gonna be my schedule for that is I will um, if I have like any material uh, I will upload a video on a weekly basis if there is no new material or no new updates on the house well then they won't I won't have any material to um, to upload so we will see sorry about that i have my sister who keeps bugging she keeps buzzing me um but anyway so that's gonna be the scheduling of the um house updates videos if there's anything i'll come up and show if there's nothing then i won't come up and show anything so that's for that thank you guys for watching this video and you guys have any questions just let me know in the comment section below and please don't forget to like share and if you're new to my channel uh, what channel I hope you stick around by subscribing to it and hit the bell notification to be notified anytime I post a video and if you are a returning subscriber thanks for coming back and uh, I will see you guys in my next video bye bye